Oh, that looks like a carnage. <laughs> What's up, guys? Eric, I'm out here with the Arma Creighton 8S. Uh, as you can see, I'm back to the uh, to the uh, full uh, stance beast. Um, I decided, you know, I've been running the Crusher for you know for quite a while, and I absolutely love that platform. You know, the short wheelbase. Um, I mean, you know, the triple backflips, the just the the, the whole the whole fun factor is, is just another world. But I just decided, you know, I do kind of miss the the actual uh, full length Creighton, so I decided to, to switch back over for a while. Um, I do have some new tires coming for it. Uh, I finally found some Duratrax uh, lockup X's. Um, I know those are really hard to find right now, and I, you know, I definitely got fortunate uh, to find some. And also, I'm going to be uh, putting in a bigger motor too, since I'm going back full length um, just to get that extra torque. So I'll probably be having that in the uh, next video of it. I just got to decide exactly what motor I'm going to use. I've got a few options I'm looking at, um, but anyway, I did put 20 million in the center since I went back full length. I know I need that extra, you know, that extra thickness in the center. Um, and I did go ahead and replace all the bearings with Jim's uh, sealed bearings. I mean, they're just uh, premium bearings and she just runs butter smooth. Um, again, it's got all the M2C upgrades in here that, that, that you can possibly get. And, uh, you know, and also that the shock shafts um, are just holding up very good along with the pistons in here. Uh, these shafts, um, I mean, they are much stronger than stock and they will, you know, they will bend, you know, if you have a hard enough landing or, or hit. Um, but I mean, it's just but it takes so much more than the stock ones because I used to banana those just about every every landing So I mean, it's just a huge upgrade um, Again, I'm running a hobby wing uh, 1100 kV 5687 with a 30 tooth pinion max 5 uh, ESC max punch on 8s So we'll see what's up Oh Oh, that looks like a carnage. <laughs> I saw something flopping. Oh yeah. Yeah, that one took the uh, rear link with it and <laughs> the rod end and bent the drive shaft. Well, let me see if I got something to fix that real quick. That's what you call a ramp shaver. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, guys, that's gonna be it. She's uh, she's she's getting really hot. Um, you know, which is another reason why I'm gonna go with a different motor, something a little a uh, little bit lower KV, bigger can. Um, but real quick, just to recap on these shocks. As you can see, these rear shocks are perfectly straight. I haven't done anything to these shocks. This is the original uh, a prototype sets that I put in here that I ran uh, many times with the Crusher, and they are still straight. The front ones have just a hair, just a hair of a bow in them, but I mean they still they still work. Um, you know they've they've been through a lot too. So that's again that's a much a much stronger than stock option. So I would definitely recommend those if you're into uh, bigger airs and stuff like that. But uh, it was a blast. Glad to uh, get the uh, full length back out the uh, full beast and uh we'll see you guys again next time hopefully a different motor and some different tires and we'll see what happens all right until next time rc dude a1 peace out